morning everyone it is a Wednesday just on my way in first official day back we've got a Porsche coming in today well it's booked in today hopefully it will show up we'll get that done because I've ordered in some bits and bobs for him I'm currently editing another video as I'm driving to work not literally like yeah I've already done the editing it's doing the processing kind of thing um, but I'm letting it kind of do its do on the way in and then I can upload it when I get to work so you get two today bit of a bonus this one is the 360 degree camera of the castle at Gory in Jersey um, we spent a fair few hours wandering around it and exploring again when you're in Jersey if you go go and see it it's amazing it's really cool on at the minute so we got little influx in subscribers which is good welcome if you haven't press that button support the channel support me we've had quite a lot in the comments section I've tried to respond to where I can I know there's a guy who's asking about the screen resolution on the SPDA 160 um, my tech guy I've looked through all the Pioneer stuff and I can't find the resolution anywhere, um, which is quite strange. It's a good clear picture, but obviously if you want the numbers, um, he's on holiday at the minute, so I'm waiting to get hold of him so I can find out what the resolution is for you. And then I'll post that on the section. We do need to do some breakfast. I did a qua qua a coffee. I did a coffee and a croissant yesterday. And yes, it is croissant, not croissant. Croissant. It's French. Um, so I'm gonna boogie off to work, and I'll speak to you in a bit. Bye. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Morning everyone. So first in today we've got this Porsche Cayman. Um, we've got a old Pioneer unit that he had previously installed into a TT um, and I've got some fascia bits and lead bits and we're obviously going to install the DAB and Bluetooth into this one. Get rid of this PCM unit uh, and do a little install on this today. So hold tight. Montage. Montage. Well, that was a bit of a pickle. Right, so basically they sent me the wrong lead. So we've got sent out a old ISO and a Philips ISO. And instead, what I've managed to do is I've got an Audi quad lock. I've repinned it. We've added on the correct quad lead. We've got our canvas working for the ignition generation. We've got our fiber optic box activated and taking the sound from the Pioneer, which is then going into the system. And we can activate all the bow system get all the sound coming through the car. I've had to supply him some leads because he was missing some stuff. So now we need to put in the microphone, run a digital aerial, get that over there, run his USB in, put the car back together. Jobs are good. Un. So a bit of a pickle. We got there in the end, bit of an engineering thing, but we are good. So can high and low is working. Remote turn on is working. Fiber optic box is working. Done. Oh, see you in a bit. <laughs>
right then everyone, Porsche's done, face is on. That looks all right, doesn't it? Bit of a mission. Obviously we had to make a lead out of bits. Um, so we've got USB in there, microphone up here, digital aerial over there. So it's all looking nice and sweet. Now we're just gonna get this one sent away, get it out. Uh, wait for the guy to come back but yeah i'm happy with that looks good works lovely sounds all right sounds a bit bassy it's a bit midi it's a bow system we can't help that you know what i think about bows in a bit Evening everyone, uh, what a busy day. So we got the Porsche finished, got a few more cars in, an Audi with stuff that's got to get sent away, an MI, MIB unit that was broken. Um, but I'm doing a thing. So I've been buying more racking. Tonight is move that one, move this one, get them out of the way. We've borrowed Con's forklift. I've got the posters down, I've got to do that one. But we're basically gonna get this stuff off of here, move it over there then move the whole rack over there and then put the rest of the stuff up there and then have a sort out. But it will basically open up this front area again because I want that view back. Um, it, it works, but it encloses the workshop too, too much. So when I'm stood over here, it, it really makes that top area quite dark and it kind of shuts it down as it makes the unit look really small. So I want to open it up again. So we're gonna move this racking here, take that, put that there. All the stuff from up there is gonna go over here and then I can put, um, I'll have two big long workbenches to be able to do stuff on. Um, we can move all the wood and everything, get that out of the way and then all my stock and everything can go upstairs or on one of these in a cupboard or whatever. I haven't thought about that yet, but we need to generate some space because as you see, stock, stuff, gym, bench saw, tables, all of this stuff needs sorting out and it needs to have a proper location and at the minute it's all over the place. We need to work efficiently with the space, not just stick stuff everywhere. As well as wifey's house boxing, all of this stuff needs putting on pallet and chucking out of the way as well for now. So that is gonna be the mission tonight. So I'm gonna come back. Uh, I haven't finished for the day yet. I'm gonna go home, bath the kids, have some dinner with them, put them to bed, and then I'm coming back. So I will see you in a bit. <laughs> One pair of pants later.
Doing it back to the old school. Wedding dance. Jesus, I'm done. It's gone midnight. What a result. I've got to say a massive thank you to Ferry. God bless him for coming and helping me move some bars around. But this is what we've ended up with. So tons more space. Um, I'm now able to get wood and everything else underneath there. We've got some stuff up on the racking. Uh, the saw and everything can go over there, so that's created more space this side. Um, the place is an absolute mess, because I've literally been launching stuff as I've been kind of moving. Uh, so I need to get some more routes of stuff out of the way up on the wall. I've got to sort this one out, I've got to sort that one out, I've got to sort these racks, they're going to go. But we've created probably two more car spaces at least. So one, two, three, four, five, and all of this lot's gonna go as well. So I'm gonna have loads and loads and loads of space. Um, and it looks so much better. I'm so happy I decided to do this. I should have done this in the first place. Um, but we've got two big tables to work on, space underneath for stuff. The, the tops upstairs has opened up again. It's all light and makes the place feel a lot bigger than it actually is. Um, but yes, I'm super, super happy. Let's just go back in the corner. Look at that. So we now got all the racking and stuff and I've still got space upstairs. Um, but I just now need to go for all the tables and sort everything out. Uh, Connor's Fortless gonna have a little sleepover in here tonight. Um, I do have the option to, um, you know, use his key. Yeah, I have got Connor's key, so I could put the forklift away. But the problem is, is when I do that, it will set his alarm off and then he's got to cancel it on his phone. And that would mean me waking him up at quarter to one. Probably not a wise idea. I wouldn't be, uh, I wouldn't be very appreciative if it were me. Uh, but we're done, guys. That's it for... Whatever day it is, I have no idea. Whatever. Um, what day is it? Is it Wednesday? Yeah, it must be Wednesday. Kids go back to school tomorrow, so school's Thursday. But that's it for Thursday. No, that's it for Wednesday. Um, I'm going to get myself home, cut up this video for you. And I'll see you bright and early in about four hours' time. See you then. Take care. Bye. You told me you had subscribed to ASC Audio and now you've missed an episode.